Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a bit different, it's not going to be a career mode episode. Even though I'm going to get a few of them out, because um, I think I'm a bit behind compared to other YouTubers. Um, they seem to be like um, on like the Silverstone episode. I'm not even like, I think I'm past Monaco now, so I think it's the Canada. Canadian Grand Prix, but today we're going to do another one. Uh, a different type of um, video. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, a challenge video. If not, no, I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be with the challenges on the game and um, on the podium pass. We're going to go on the standard uh, challenges and we're just going to complete these. I'm going to do a different type of editing on the um, on the video that way I can make it a bit more fun instead of just doing a career mode episodes. I want to explore with editing and do a bit do a bit more with it. Um, as I feel I'm a bit lazy with uh, editing, so I want to learn a bit more, but yeah, I'm going to do live commentary for this um, episode. Um, as you saw there, we're going to do F two F2 races at Japan. We're not going to make them more, we're going to make about five of that races or whatever. Um, complete two races as fast and better, we've already done one of them. Um, another one is do set three clean laps around Australia in the wet. Uh, which is very doable and then is the other one is do two races as Valtteri Bottas and we've already done one so we'll do um, the first one which is the F2 race at Japan we'll do two of them and then we'll uh, we'll go on from there yeah for the F2 race we're gonna pick a uh, Jack Aitken in the uh, Campos racing car he was best looking one in it really uh, it's got the W2F oh no does it um, it should have the w 2 TF1 uh, logo on the side. It's usually there. Yeah, I don't think they have it on the game. Which is a bit weird. Um, unless this is Bocalacci's car or what, but yeah, they should have it. Because they do spawn. No, it's definitely Jack Aitken's car, unless it's got a new sponsor, but I doubt it. So here we are on the uh, grid now, we'll do start in 14th place, that's quite far back to be fair, um, just mean it'll make it more fun uh, throughout the way, so we'll make a few overtakes um, going through the pack, uh, so we'll start it. Sorry if I'm not going to be speaking a lot in this race, I'll try to skip through it as much as possible, because I'm doing a I'm live commentary, so I'm going to find it quite hard to drive and talk at the same time. As we get off to a terrible start, and I forgot you have to have max revs on the F2 cars and uh, make as much wheel spin as possible. Big dive bomb down into here. By a big dive bomb, I mean two places up on a Regana. Oh my god, we've lost a position already. To Regana for now. And uh, now Bosch on the uh, that dive bomb didn't work out. Great stuff. Oh, it's that big damage going into there. Yeah, and we've. Mess that up big time. I'm gonna put hit a flashback on this. <laughs> Feels like I'm getting deja vu coming into here. I don't know why, but as we seamlessly fly past Boshong down into here now, why inside of me? we're gonna from there, we just smash out them cones, hit into the side of his car, burst up his, open his side pod. We do manage to make the move, but he does seem to get on the back of us straight away. We've got like a power deficiency in this car. So as soon as we overtake, they're straight on the back of us here. As we come around the last corner now, it is enough for P18. So, a great race by us. We lost four positions in a three lap race. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that's one step closer to the challenge, which is uh, good enough. Right, we're on the uh, second race now. Shut up, engineer. We don't need you talking. Um, I didn't get a notification a lot about. Um, doing the first bit of the other challenge so I really hope um, we do finish it here because I cannot be bothered doing all this again even though it's only three laps but still I'm very slow around doing it all. build up all the revs this time you need to keep your wheels spinning off the start oh, the action time is terrible oh my god losing positions left right and centre come down into here oh my goodness that's P13 now Four, five positions on the start our teammate in front of us now, he started about P18. Jesus. Yeah, 
Yes, as we come onto the challenge screen now, we've managed to do that challenge. Only 250 XP, wow. I thought you'd get a lot more for that. Jesus, as you can see there, we're level 13 on the uh, podium pass. Ah, shame. <clears throat> Just to make sure, we are going to look on here. Uh, do we have a new one? Set free, clean. Oh, no, we're not going to keep on doing it. We're just going to do the three are, which are left. Okay, so I've decided to change it up a bit for this episode because I didn't realise you only get 250 XP just for the normal challenges. So we're going to go on the series challenges and we're going to do the first one, which is beat uh, 141 at Abu Dhabi. I don't know how quick that is, actually. But you do get 1,000 XP for that, so it's a lot better than just getting 250. That way we can... Uh, Make our way up the podium pass a much quicker. As well, on the standard one, we're gonna do one last one of these. It's gonna be the uh, three uh, laps in the wet at Australia. Um, just to change it up a bit. Right, I don't think there's any point in trying to put a setup on because I think a 141 is probably the pace of a, a seven-year-old. Hey, boss. How has that just happened? How have I... Eh? How have I not cut the corner on the other one, but I've cut the corner on this one? Oh yeah, we did cut it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it when you're on the on board. Is it like you're going proper fast? Yeah, we did cut it quite quite a bit. Across the final corner here is a 138, so we beat the lap time straight away. Um, which we should have anyway. Yay, 1000 XP, just like that. We're still low, uh, 1,500 off uh, our next level up. Alright, we're coming on to the uh, starting the laps now. Whoa, we spun straight away here. This car is very trigger happy. Oh, and we're getting validated that way. We're going to just restart this. Oh, I dread this corner in the way. Hopefully we don't spin it around here. We're just getting tank slappers at left, right and centre through here. We sp oh my goodness. As we look on the screen now, we're actually 351 uh, in the leaderboards out of our head, isn't it? Just under 800 people have only done a lap, so we're about 50%. Um, but that'll be it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed the different type of video. I just don't want to be doing the same old stuff. I want to mix it up a bit. Um, same with the games as well. I don't want to be playing on F120 2020 for that long. I just want to play it for maybe a couple more months and then we'll go into a few more games. Now that Project Cars 3 is coming out um, later on in the uh, year, actually not later, that, that later, later on, it's um, about a month away actually, I think it's the end of August, um, plus I think there's a few other racing games that are coming out, but thank you very much for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one.